Listen, listen, uh, it's gonna be okay. Uh, <laughs> just think, just say to yourself, I am Pooh Bear. <laughs> you drank all the ginger ale before I got here. I was in an agent's office looking for some side modeling work and she popped this question, asked if I'd ever be interested in acting and I was like, no, 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 because instantly I thought of like musicals and stuff, which I'm not a huge fan of, with the exception of Chicago, because it's hot and it's great. Long story short, she like pitched this class to me, and I took a couple classes, and the first class I took, it was like a light switch went off. I don't know even how to describe it, but I had just finished up my career with Pennsylvania Ballet, and I knew instantly in that class what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. It was, I can't put a word to it or a feeling or can't describe it. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for Cameron Greger and his classes and his teaching and his mentoring and his guidance and there's just, I mean, he's a genius. Based on the person and how they work, you kind of can tailor it to yourself and he, that's the amazing thing about him is like he's really able to, to manipulate whatever technique it is and kind of like metal them all together or a couple of them. That helps you, you know. So it's not artificial, it's you're pulling that from a real event that happened in your life because when the audience doesn't believe you, it's over. When I was with Pennsylvania Ballet, we were, we were doing Taming of the Shrew. And during, I think it's the second act, the curtain stays closed, lights are black for like one count of eight. And the orchestra starts during that one count of eight. And then the second count of eight, the lights go up, curtain goes up, and we're already dancing. You have about mm, 10 couples on stage. So the curtain didn't go up after the first count of eight. And when it finally went up and the lights came up, you have 10 couples doing totally different things. I mean, literally, everyone was staring at headlights. We all thought we were fired. You wouldn't read about it. So it was, oh my gosh. But the director came backstage after the show and was just like it, laughing hysterically. Like it was, it was something else. And then as an actress, I was filming a horror film. And oh gosh, I was like just turning the corner and I hit this like, beam, the steel beam, right on the bone of my eyebrow. <laughs> I had blood like running down the side of my face. It wasn't funny at the time, I was kind of in shock. And it was like this big welt, so I had like a third eye, so. <laughs> but yeah, looking back on it, it was, it was, it took about two weeks for the black eye to go down, and yeah, so. <laughs> there are so many great things to be played out there, I mean from like Mother Teresa to Princess Di to like even one of the ballerinas I used to watch growing up to ah it's like endless I mean of course everyone who knows me knows that I have a cost, custom made cosplay Supergirl costume in my closet so playing Supergirl would be awesome and I had a lot of people being like you shot us before but it's hard to get in that door so <laughs> I would say just the constant grind of looking for the next gig you know what I mean especially during slow season you know December to like Marchish or February you know those can always be difficult and also when a gig ends there's kind of like that black little funk you can fall into or try to avoid and also just for me personally sifting through castings that um, don't have nudity in them because they seem to like that a lot with girls and women. So, and it's, it's happening more often, which is a little frustrating, but yeah, enough about that. <laughs> money, money, love, hate relationship. Um, you know, golly, I would love to get new headshots. Gotta get some more money. Uh, what else? I mean, yeah, it, that's, that's the whole thing. You have to spend money to make money. It's so true and it sucks at the same time because the minute you have somebody saved up, oh, car breaks down, it's great. Animal gets sick, it's great, yay. Depending on if you're you know, an actor or an actress, you can't compare yourselves to other actors because you're only gonna waste your own time and set your own self back while they're moving that one step forward. And that's a big lesson I took from being a dancer. I mean, you're in skin tight clothing in front of a mirror every day of your life, all day. So. It's hard enough just to deal with that, but when you're standing next to the girl who might have longer legs than you, or bigger boobs, or whatever, you know? Try not to beat yourself up too much after an audition if you don't feel good about it, because 80% of it's showing up, and you did that. Success to me means making a living off of what I love to do and what I'm passionate about, which is acting. I mean, what else could you ask for? You know, you're doing what you love, you're getting paid to do it, and you're making a living, you're paying your bills to do it, so that to me is, is success hands down.